Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Mary Beth. John? John, is it you? How the hell are oh, you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Abigail, is she? She's well. Jack's growing up. Sweet boy. Not anymore. <laughs> but he's okay. How are you? I'm well. I, I'm right now. Silly romances, but it's fun. Oh, it's such fun. Do you? My pen name is Leslie DuPont. It's sort of French, sort of ambiguous. Well, the books are unambiguously awful, but they sell. Good for you. So proud. I still think about you all. That was. That was quite a time. Yeah. Arthur. Arthur saved my life before he passed. I don't talk about him much, but I think about him. Me too. And Dutch? <laughs> Ran off someplace. Oh! Such a shame. Last call. Oh, anyway, John, I better get on my train. It's really lovely seeing you. Oh, here. It's for you. Thank you. Take care now. Bye. Yeah. I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but... But surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. 
I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. John! John Marston. Miss Tilly. That's Mrs. Tilly to you. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. I'm well. Well and happy and I miss you and Abigail. She's well. Jack's well. All is well, I think. I, I never thanked you for what you did. Oh, there's the trolley. I still think about all of you all the time. My life, it's different now. Mine too. But I still see a bunch of Charles and Uncle and Sadie. So, not quite so different as Abigail would like. I married a lawyer. He's a fine man. We live in a house. Us too. I'm sorry. I've got to go. I'm late. But can I write to you and Abigail someplace? Yeah, we're up at Beecher's Hope, over in Great Plains, West Elizabeth. I'll try. Be well, John Marston. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. <coughs> but I'm gonna be just fine. <coughs> we offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. <coughs> you should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. <laughs> Both of you. Uh, you all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now if... If an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... We came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something... true, something... real. All this... Squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm gonna do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is 
there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well... You ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right. I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. So, Bill... This better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Getting harlot. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? He break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> You're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real dead. I, I was a child, and this is. I don't want to go back to the workhouse. <laughs> Get your goddamn right, go. hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Get a word up! Nobody move! Don't make us. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah, he's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch, did you miss me? I found her drunk in Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. Funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly, God, all my. Calm down. I won't be ignored, Dutch Vanderlyn. I am in him. I ain't her. Are any of you stooges? Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told them and I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery. And I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard! Go on, She's shoot me! Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on me! Oh, you're you not betrayed so big now, me! Why? Right. Calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. Ah!
You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You... She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. Can I help you? Oh, please don't tell me you've come a robin. I haven't got the time. Or you're just looking for work. Talkative one, ain't you? Well, we're trying to get packed up. My father wants to go on a trip, avoid the illness that's plaguing the county. He's never run away from anything in his life. At least that's the way he tells it. And now this. Mabel, please pack all my dresses and both the guns. Yes, Miss McFarland. Sweet girl. But to call her a village idiot would be unkind to most idiots. Miss McFarlane? Yes, Amos? The wagon. Uh, the wagon. It's gone. Gone where, precisely? Well, we don't know. That's what gone means. It means that you cannot find it. Well, actually, on point of order, it doesn't. But let's not get lost in semantics. Any clue as to where it might be? I suppose maybe Jimmy used it to take his mother to the doctor. He was riding through some nasty country. God damn it. Excuse me. Amos, get on with the milking. Yes, Miss McFarlane. You wouldn't... You wouldn't mind trying to find this damn wagon, would you? I'll pay you handsomely. We're very short-handed right now. Thank you. Thank you very much. And good luck. Did this. That our fella? Maybe. But looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one. Is it gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. Don't shoot. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! He's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out of here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Thurwell, call yourself a man. Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. 